Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of the Bulldog Hacking Challenge. We've been able to gain access to the server using SSH as the user Django, and today it's all about attempting to get root. Let's get started. If you want to learn more about the different steps and phases we followed, make sure to check the description box contain the different links to other videos, other episodes, uh, once the challenge is finished. Let's do some enumeration. We are running as Django. Do we have anything in this current directory? Um, we have manage.py. I'm not sure if we can find any credentials here. I'm sure Django has a default file where it stores the configuration, much like any CMS, I guess, or any web framework. Maybe it's under settings.py. So you can see we have the secret key used to generate the cookies. Um, what else do we have? The database used is SQLite, so we can just go ahead and access it without authentication, I guess. Let's do that. Um, SQLite 3, there's no SQLite 3 here. Mm, okay, well, we can copy it locally. I'm going to use SCP, specify that I want to copy the content of bulldog, bulldog, and um, actually db.sqlite3. Um, I'm not sure if it's the right, I think it's dash capital P for the port number, and I'm going to put it right here. No such file directory. Um, yeah, I need to put the port number. Yeah, now it's working. Um, so we can use SQLite 3 to query the database. So the tables that we have here are auth group, uh, auth user, permissions, etc. So we can say select star from uh, auth user. And here we have a bunch of users. We have the admin. We have Alan, William, Malik, uh, Nick. This is the uh, users that we've compromised, but the passwords are hashed using PBKDF2. Um, it's a really strong hashing algorithm, so I'm not sure if this is the way to go. We don't have, we don't want to crack these. We already have the SHA-1 hashes, so these are much weaker than these. All right, let's go back to SSH and uh, see if we can find anything interesting. Let's find the SUID bits. Yeah, but in order to do that, we need sudo, but I don't have the password for Bulldog, uh, Django, sorry. So let's uh, explore what do we have under um, the home directory. So we have Bulldog, but we have Bulldog admin, okay, and we have Django. Uh, I wonder what do we have under bulldog admin? Let's list the, uh, oh, we have a hidden admin directory here. Okay, um, let's cd into that and see what we have. What are these files? Custom permission app and note. Let's uh, use the file command to learn more about these. Okay, note is just an ASCII text. Let's cat its content. Nick. I'm Working on backend permission stuff. Listen, it's super prototype, but I think it's going to work out great. Literally run the app, give your account a password, and it will determine if you should have access to that file or not. Hmm, okay. It's a great stuff. Once I'm finished with it, a hacker wouldn't even be able to reverse it. Sounds like we can reverse it now. Keep in mind that it's still a prototype right now, and I'm about to get it working with the Django user account. I'm not sure how proper, blah, 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 blah. Let me know if you think of it. Okay, uh, so this is a indeed a binary file. Let's uh, change it to an executable, custom permission app. Oh, it says permission denied, yeah. Uh, let's copy it to the temp directory and let's go to temp and change its permissions to executable and then run it. So let's please enter a valid username to use root privileges. Okay, we need to insert a username and it's asking for the password of Django using sudo, but we don't have the password of Django. Uh, let's use the username Django here as expected from the usage message. Yeah, it's, it's asking for 
Django user if we try root. Yeah, it, it seems that it's running sudo behind the scenes as the user Django, which is our current user. So we don't have Django's password. Um, let's continue. I wonder if there are any cron jobs running. Remember from the first episode or second, there was uh, some kind of antivirus, which was run every minute, I guess. So let's go to etc and maybe grab anything that has cron in it. Uh, grab cron, no, grab cron. Yep, okay. Uh, so we have cron tab file here. Let's cat its content. Mm, we don't have any job running there. Let's go to cron dash, cron dot D. Oh, we have run antivirus. Yeah, so let's uh, catch that. Oh, okay, so it's running as root every uh, minute and it's running this script right here. What do we have under this script? It's a Python script, cd into that. Um, it's not a directory, um, yeah. We need to go, yeah, this is the file. So we have this folder, but yeah, we have just one file under it. I can't help but notice that we have full control over it. I mean, other users could write, read, and execute it. So let's do that. Just wanted to throw this placeholder here real quick. We will put the full antivirus here when the vendor is done making it. Well, Alan, you just did a big mistake because we're going to get root using your cron job. I'm going to import OS module and I'm going to run the system command uh, that will copy bin bash and put it under temp root. I'm going to change it to an SUID script. In this way, I'm going to get root using bash. This is going to run as root and so the temp slash root script or binary will have SUID bit set. Let's run it, um, let's uh, save it. And while true, we're going to ls if we have anything that's called temp root and sleep for 30 seconds and then wait. Oop, done, yeah, while true. Yeah, we need to add the do keyword. Okay, let's eagerly wait and see if we have the file once the script or the cron job runs. So the cron job will run this now malicious script, Python script as root every minute. And we should see a file there in one minute at most. Oh, we've got it. Let's exit from the loop and run it. Temp root dash B and we indeed have the EUID set to zero, which means we are essentially root. Let's cd into root to verify. And here we have the congratulatory, congrats.txt message. Congratulations on completing this VM. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Twitter. As far as I know, there are two ways to get root. Oh, can you find the other one? Okay. Um, well, challenge accepted. In the next video, we're going to find if we can get root using another way. So make sure to subscribe and hit the ring bell to receive it once it goes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.